Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 7 tutorials. So guys in the previous video we successfully implemented the filter based on the categories and the tags. So let's say if a user wants to filter the records or the blogs with the help of category all he need to do is just click on the specific category and he will get the result. Similar goes to the tags. Let's say if I want to see a specific blog that has specific category I, all I need to do is just click on the tag and that's it. Remember that guys we are already handling the manipulation related to categories and tags but we need to uh, get an error message in any case let's say if I am going to create a, create a new category and no blogs uh, let's say no blogs are associated with that specific category in that case we need to show an error message right here that uh, uh, we were not able to find the record based uh, related to this category or these tags something similar like that but we will cover that later with the search error so guys in this specific video we are going to cover the search functionality and we are going to start implementing the search functionality once again we are going to cover this uh, video in two parts in one part in this specific video we are going to cover the search functionality and the other part we are going to handle the error based on the search or uh, based on categories and based on tags so yeah let's start with the search functionality first of all I just want to show you this notepad right here uh, keep that in mind guys it's not my content I just copied it from the W3 school just to show you just to make you familiar that let's say if you want to use the search what you need to do uh, uh, for example uh, whenever you are going to search uh, whenever you are going to implement a search functionality you need to use the like query okay so yeah let's discuss something about that you don't need to copy it or you don't need to write it down all you need to do is search on w3 school for the like queries or search for the how to implement uh, search queries uh, in php etc and you will find the result these results uh, i got these results from the w3 school so all you need to do is go and visit the like query and you will get the result so let's say if i want to implement a search uh, and I want uh, let's say uh, this specific query uh, every time we are going to use this percentage most of the time you can see okay so these are multiple scenarios in this case let's say if I want to see a search a customer where customer name like a is the variable or the character I want to search for so after that I need to put a percentage sign and what it is going to do is find any value that start with a okay as simple as that let's come to the second one uh, we uh, these are some basic uh, like the th first three okay and most of the time you are going to use this one okay in this project in this search query we are also going to use this one okay because it is uh, more precise like let's say if I want to search where customer name like and I, I just put a percentage sign before and after my variable character or string whatever it is and we will get the records and in this case we will find something finds any value that have or in any position of the paragraph or anywhere okay so yeah this uh, percentage uh, before the variable it's going to find any value that end with a so this was just for uh, to clear the concept that we are going to or just to make you familiar with the uh, search query that's how you are going to use the search query and uh, let's say if you have a complicated search query like you need to do a validation or some passport or something like that you can use one of these right here okay so every time you have uh, a different scenario you can use any of these okay in this case we are going to use this we are going to find any value in any position of a paragraph or uh, anywhere in the content so let's start guys and we will see this in great detail while we implement our search so first of all let's move to sublime and I have already opened my blog.blade which is right here resources front-end sorry resources views front-end blog now let's complete our form first and that is right here so first of all I need to implement the action URL so yeah uh, let's create a URL we don't have a URL I'm just assigning a URL and we can create the route later so let's say in this case I want my URL to be search blog search hyphen blog okay method should be post in the this time we are going to use laravel post request that's why so we have our crs uh, csrf token in place we have uh, our input field and 
our input field name is assigned right here which is search so yeah form looks complete so what we can do is let's move to web.php and let's create a route so after the index route i'm going to create a new one route post as the method uh, is going to be the post we are sending the post request in this case so search blog and once again we are going to use front end controller sorry and i will move back right here front end controller and the method name would be let's say search we are going to create it okay let's move to front end controller let's move down let's put a comment and let's create a method search blog okay and the method name would be uh, function search public function search and this time i'm going to use request since it is a post request so yeah now i'm going to dd request all here so that we can verify that we are successfully hitting a specific method which is in this case search so dd dollar request all okay yeah just like that now let's move to google i am going to do a refresh okay now let's try to put something right here search okay so we successfully hit our method right here you can see the dd related data the token and the input field data okay guys so now what we can do is simply put the validation so let's try a dollar request validate just like that and i want to validate search field which is my input field name right here okay so yeah let's move forward and i want the validation to be required i want three type of validation uh, validation basic required and minimum three character and just for the sake maximum so that we can handle a huge amount of data as well okay nobody is going to put 255 character but just in case okay guys okay now i am going to save my search value in this search variable which i just created right here and we can do that by doing this dollar search is equals to dollar request search whatever i have in this request search i want to pass it to this search right here okay now let's move forward and let's do the uh, dd the search again dollar search now let's do a refresh one more time now we will be able to see our input field related data okay so yeah it's working perfectly fine now what we need to do is i will just move to google chrome so move back do a refresh now let's try one more time okay it's working perfectly fine now let's try the validation search so as expected we we are not able to see, see any sort of error why because we haven't implemented one okay guys so what i'm going to do is let's display our error right here first of all at if and guys i was not talking about these type of error i was talking about let's say if in any case i want to search anything that uh, doesn't really exist so in that case we need to show something right here okay because otherwise the page won't be a uh, page is going to be empty and we won't be able to see any sort of record and neither the message so we need to at least get a message so that people can understand or the user can understand yeah okay so there is no record associated to that specific search okay so at if dollar errors has search okay let's end this if and if and let's display our error right here if we have an error dollar error errors first search just like that okay guys now let's do a refresh once again now we are trying to test it out so search okay so the search field is required now let's try the other validation of minimum search the search must must be at least three characters so it our validation is working perfectly fine now if uh, let's say you want to uh, customize this uh, these error messages you can uh, we have discussed this in this project multiple times so you can do that on your own i'm not going to do anything right here it simply looks good and it's just a demo purpose uh, for me it's a demo uh, demo project 
because I I am here to teach you and you are here to learn. If you want to change the custom text, you can. It's totally up to you. Okay, guys. So validation is working perfectly fine. Now what we need to do is uh, once the validation is done. what we need to do is let's discuss this right here once again i will move to google chrome refresh okay so we have these record let's say if i want to search anything okay i press the search now we should be able to re, uh, we will be redirected to in this uh, in this specific case let's say if i want to search anything i will be redirected to the same page with the same content i am talking about the content like categories the tags the links the view itself so we are going to return everything that we have on our home page right here so what we can do is i will move to the index route sorry index method and i am going to copy everything okay as simple as that let's move down and just after this search i am going to paste everything just like that now we will be able to send the links the categories the tags and the view itself so yeah everything looks fine now what we need to do is we need to change this query to the search one so let's start i'm going to remove everything from right here and let's type okay so how are we going to implement the like query it's a bit different but uh, i think you will be familiar because if you are working on laravel framework you uh, at least at least you have a, a php background so you know how can you do a specific query let's say if i want to search anything from the user or get all the user select static from user that's it okay so that's how we are going to do our query right here it's uh, but in laravel way so how can we do that in laravel it's, sim it's as simple as that blog select static and i want to search fair and let's say i want to search from the title i think it's title or the name let me just check okay so it's a title okay so where title is like okay then i want to put my percentage as i told you before okay concatenate my val value whatever it is so in this case dollar search okay concatenate and put the ending paragraph sign sorry percentage sign sorry guys <laughs> okay now let's uh, get all the records just like that okay and let's dd dollar blocks okay so this is a simple search query let's test this out i am going to do a refresh and let's try to search for lorem lorem I want to search all the records where we have lorem in the title just in the title okay so yeah right here you can see the second one and the third one so our search query is working perfectly fine now what we need to do is this was just a basic example so that you can understand the query better select static where title like and i have assigned my variable my character my string in between the percentage tags and it is going to get a let's say search result if it can find uh, this specific value anywhere in this title so it is going to uh, search for the whole title and it is going to get the result if if we have a result it is going to return it to us that's it so this is the simple like query now what we need to do is we need to make some changes because we want something advanced or we want to search from let's say title short description description and we also need to uh, implement the pagination so how can we do that so let's change this query from simple to some uh, a bit advanced and that would be order by id descending this means i want the latest one first okay then i want to implement where title like whatever i have in the search then i can simply copy this paste it again and again and then simply implement my page in it 6 similar to the index one okay now we can simply change this to short description okay and right here to description 
so guys uh, it's simple uh, it's a bit advanced query first of all i want to search a specific record for a specific value not for a specific record but for a specific value okay so i did the order by with the help of id and in the in the descending order so that i can get the latest first okay then we are uh, searching for let's say where in the title we have this value whatever it is then we are going to put or sorry for that or where w capital once again or where w capital that's it so now our search query is complete in this case what we are going to do is we are implementing the or condition let's say if in any case it was not able to find this specific value in the title it is going to move to the short description and it is going to try to search for the same variable in the short description if let's say if in any case we are not able to find it in the title as well as the short then it is going to move to the short uh, sorry the description and it is going to search for the specific variable in the description as well let's say uh, if you don't know if you don't know how the or condition works let me just tell you with a basic example let's say we have three variables one first condition or this is the or sign just for an example or second condition or third condition now we have three condition in this case and with the help of or we can simply uh, let's say if uh, out of three condition any one of them is true we are going to get the result so all we need to do is at least we need one condition to be true right here we don't need all if you need all you need to implement the end and we don't do that usually okay so we uh, you are going to use the or condition most of the time so or is going to restrict the uh, not restrict but it is going to expand our search with the help of or let's say if i am able to find my variable in the title it is going to return it as simple as that if not in the title it is going to search for the short description if not in, even in the short description it is going to move to the description and it is going to get the result if there is any so as simple as that with the help of or condition now let's try our result and let's try the lorem again search so now you see we have our pagin pagination in place sorry for that okay and we have in total six records previously we had five now we have six okay yeah so our search query is working perfectly fine now let's try something uh, something different so let's try that right mm, sorry for that rack him search okay so now we have six record that have rackham because i have posted uh created this content using the lorem epsom same website and same content so yeah that's why we have multiple result no worries okay guys so our search functionality is working for fine if you want to test it we can simply remove this block just like that okay let's try this once again in action okay so let's try the validation issue pal first okay validation is working perfectly fine let's try standard which i have previously from my previous inputs search okay so now let's uh, you can see we don't have standard in the title at least now let's open this link okay so we have let's try and search standard so we have standard variable right here or standard word right here let's try okay so we have in total we have two standards right here so yeah our search functionality is working perfectly fine now let's try this one as well just for the sake of confirmation let's try for the standard search and yeah right here so guys our search functionality is uh, completely fine and it's working perfectly if you want to search something else uh, let me see mm, let's try lorem we can do that but uh, lorem is a basic search so let's try i saw somewhere passages so let's try that yeah just like that okay search and let's try to look for the passages right here control f passages and right here so it's searching in the description itself the short description and the title 
So guys, our search functionality is complete right here and it is working perfectly fine. If a user want to search any blog, he can just simply uh, write anything and he will get the result if there is any, okay, just in case. Okay guys, so our search functionality is working perfectly fine. Now, one last thing I want to do is I want to return the variable right here as well. So let's do that and for that, what I'm going to do is let's return this search. So search okay and let's paste it in the value let's say if we have search i want to display the search here otherwise don't do anything okay show empty screen or in empty input field okay so let's search for the lorem again search and right here you can see lorem and lorem based result now let's try something else let's say standard and you can see it's working perfectly fine so that's it from the search functionality in the next video we are going to cover the error based on or related to let's say search the categories tags the, themselves let's say if in any case we don't have any specific record related to the search or categories we are going to show something right here okay okay guys one last thing uh, if you want a live example let's say if i'm going to search for something like this search and you can see we have an empty page right here so we need to put a message or at least an error message or a message at least right here so that a user can understand like okay so we don't have any specific result related to this so that's it from this video guys and i hope you like the search query it's very easy you have seen it in action now you can test it you can manipulate let's say if you want to do some changes you can it's totally up to you but uh, that's it from this video in the next video we are going to cover the error and i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe share thank you take care and yes guys be ready okay take care